guess it's just mine. Got some little cubby holes underneath. Got that? Prizes we have to wait till we get home. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just leave that till a later date. Hey guys, and how's it going? So the first part of the video was just showing where the boat came from. Uh, the woman was cleaning out her property. Her husband had passed a while ago, and this was just like stuff that was laying around the yard. A friend grabbed a couple of the BWs that were there, and he inquired about the boat, and she said, anybody who wants the boat can have it. It is free. He contacted me, and then I contacted you guys to come along with me and have some fun, <laughs> see if we could bring it back to life. So the boat, we're not gonna worry about right now. It needs a bunch of cleaning out and uh, restoration of the back of it. So it took a hit right there, right where that strap is, and somebody beat it back out. And of course the aluminum on top rail has been re kind of repaired. The uh, wood that holds the motor is really punky. It is uh, barely, yeah, I'm barely holding that motor on there. So we'll deal with that at another time. But for now, let's go grab this engine off of here, bring it over to the bench and see what it takes to resuscitate it if we can. I just popped it up on a couple of boards hanging out of the vise. That should suffice for now. It's 18 horse. I'm not even sure what it is. I think it's probably an Evernote. That's how I know it's 18 horse. And it has definitely been out in the weather and the sun for a long period of time. You see the handles rotted right off of it and then there was a extension over here. There's not much left in that. Whether anything turns or even if it pulls over, I'm not sure. But let's get that cover off of there, take a peek, see if there's any critters that we need to evict first. And we'll start having at it. It's got a tab on this side. Pull down, here we go, that might be it. No critters running, spider webs. I think the chances are, it's gonna turn for us. Hmm. No. <laughs> it rocks a little, I don't know, I, that might be the, I think that's the advance. Like a spring loaded advance coming off the flywheel. Does not turn. Let's see if we can get these plugs out of it. Get some oil, shoot it on the inside. Oof. Oh, that's, that's a cobweb it took on the way out. <laughs> like, well, that plug's nasty. Let's go get some, probably some marble mystery in there. Let's see if we can shine a light in there first. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look terrible. I don't know what you guys can see. I know nothing. I could see, you know, the wall doesn't look terribly rusty. How about the bottom one? Uh, not so bad, neither. I'm going to throw some oil in there anyway, then we'll... Uh, see if you can wrench on that a little bit, rock it back and forth. Get it to spin over. Get it to spin over as long as it's got spark. Should be able to save it. I know the oil is here somewhere. Give a, a fair dose into that one. Sometimes it's better too, you stand it up so that because right now it's just going to the bottom of the cylinder. It's not going around the cylinder. If you take the motor and lay it on its side so the oil can kind of soak over time. Well, we'll do that, it won't turn for us. Back you up a little.
Something wicky. Something going. Uh, is this a start and go? No. Let's see if we can get it in neutral. Yeah, the gear at the bottom end might be stuck, you know? Bottom end does not sound good. Are we in neutral though? Almost. Hmm. Neutral position, but I have a feeling everything's bound up down below. That's that noise coming from down below. I'm gonna go put a light in there, see if those pistons are moving. I do believe they are. I think we should jump to the bottom end, go find out what is stuck down below get that freed up kind of go from there yeah I got it I don't think that's the normal noise it's supposed to make <laughs> that's just a hunch so what do we have I know we went through this once before and we gotta pull, drop all these. Can't see, can you? Yeah, here, here, this one. Uh, then I thought there was a bolt that we have to pull out all the way. Might be access. Or might be behind this. This cover, right here. Let's go get some bolts out of it first. Go from there. I also don't know if this boat was parked because it had a mechanical failure, which is a possibility. Or is it just, you know, stop gotten used and weather got to it? It's got two different screws in it. The other thing is too is, although it's stainless hardware, aluminum, even in stainless too, they do not play well. They have a tendency to corrode. I gotta get a impact driver. Chalky. Chalky, but it's moving. One down. This one looks like it's the aftermarket one that somebody shoved in there. Surprised it was 18. That was gonna be like a like a 9.9 .9 or something. I think there's a coupler in there that we have to undo. Yeah, couple bolts to access, and that will allow the top and the bottom shift linkage to come apart. Let's go glass. See if we can move that around. See if we can see if it's even moving. Yeah, it moves, but the bottom's keeping it locked in. I think we got to take those right out completely. Actually, you could probably put a socket on those. Let's see if they'll go. Let's 
feeling I'm going to drop it. <laughs> this doesn't matter too much during disassembly, but I can see during assembly that being an issue. Back up a little bit so I don't hit you in the head with a hammer. I just drop the hammer on your foot. My lighting situation kind of sucks over here. I have to. Three out of five. I'm gonna go work those other two. I'll bring you back. I did have a casualty. I lost one. I lubed it and worked it, and just didn't happen. Fortunately, it's a through hole. It's the one on this side, and we could drill it out, barring that. She's savable. I'm gonna go feed this back in a couple of threads. I'm gonna give it a whack with a hammer. See if we can get that bottom in to separate. No? I don't know of any more that are in it. I just saw two on each side and then the one in the back. It might have something hidden that I'm not aware of. We got this out that locks the shift column. And then I think the coupler that goes down just relies, it's just a coupler on the inside of it that makes the dry shaft attached to the bottom. Let's keep on. I don't want to put anything in between and tap on it. corrosion in there that it's not gonna have it possibly I wonder if we can find another bolt that's this size and we can uh, continue to do the same let me go see if I can find something in my stash that's uh, like that but longer and yeah, I bent it let's try rubber hammer in it a little bit I, don't, I, th I think it's still too tight to go though It is, let's see what it is. The bolt that broke off, part of it is in the corrosion. We need some better persuasion. I got two putty knives. 
See if we can get both of them in there. And then drive a screwdriver in between not to screw up that flange. If that's even a possibility. Alright. Army guys coming in. What our issue is, that bolt that broke off right there. I think it's gonna pop and just hit the floor and go crashing. We get something to put underneath it. I got a mat under it. We gotta change up our size here. Might have dowel pins too that's pushing off of. I'm just not sure. Gonna go gut the bottom. Possibly there's a retainer holding up. I don't know. It'd be nice if I looked it up, but that's too easy. Fresh water only on Sundays. Yeah. She's gonna fight you every inch of the way, all the way to the very last little morsel of sanity that you have left. It's gonna fight you. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can angle it up. Everything's frozen on it as usual, but it broke my wood. Yeah, I should have done that to begin with, huh? Instead of crawling underneath it. My plan is to keep. Hitting it, removing hardware until it finally falls apart. We can try taking a skag off, see if there's any thing we can see inside there. Do that to the six bolts, we get that off. Probably should have took the, the drain screw out, see what comes out of it. I'm expecting pretty much all water. This boat was uh, definitely salt water. It's actually right, right across from a harbor. Hence all the corrosion. What do you think our luck is with this coming off? <laughs> think it'll go? <laughs> I don't know if that Phillips has to come out. Or a couple of love taps. I don't know if that has to come out. Anyway, I think it wants to prop off. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> that's, a, that's a dry lube. Shift problem. Let's go pop that screw out of there. I think that's holding the shift fork on. Let me get that pulled the rest of the way off. Yeah, I put a screwdriver in it and it wasn't going to turn. I put one screw back in to help hold it. Let's see if the driver will get this one. Watch your face. Get something that fits in there. Tad tighter. See if we can. Uh, probably should have done that first. Victory, small victory, is mine. There you go. It's gonna come apart now. I think I put a tray under it to catch all the fluid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there wasn't much of anything. Bunch of that. That's always good for the gears. <laughs> Wonder why it wouldn't shift. Nope, still no. That should be that coupler up top that finally comes apart, which I think it just did. Let's go back you up. Uh, I think we could probably tap on this whole assembly. We should be able to get this whole thing to pull down. Just leave the impeller right on it. I think uh, that transmission was going to shift very well. You want to hear uh, the world's most annoying sound? <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully the top end's all right. Uh, I wonder if we can leave it alone or... I think we're probably still bound up on the gear. I'm going to work on trying to get this lower unit off still. And maybe we'll flip it back down and see if the engine will turn. I think we we're just kind of bound right up on that. Not wanting to do what it wanted to do. Sixteen feet later. There we go. I think. 
Come on. You're so close. <laughs> <sighs> the water pump's right in here. You may be having trouble trouble trying to get through it. There go. Free! Free. Not sure what kind of carnage it caused. What do you think the chances are? The engine will turn down. Let's go drop it back down. Smells like swamp. Yeah, there we go. Oh. All right. Yes, no. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I would say that bottom end is a. Uh, you want to try that pull start? I think it's next is uh, see if we got spark. Uh, I don't know if this is an electronic mission or is it old enough to even have points. Let's go give her. I get the feeling this handle's going to rip her right, right off. <laughs> Let's go give her a little, a little shot of oil inside those cylinders. Actually, why don't we just use this? Let that kind of goo up those walls and get into those rings. <laughs> right. Let's uh, go put a plug in it. Spin it, guess what? I'll turn the lights down too so we can go see. What do you think the chances are? One there, one there. Ah, I see the bottom one sparking. I see one of them sparking. I don't see this top one doing anything. But I did see this one. I don't know if they were individual coils. Yeah, that, was, that was nice and bright. Let's go see if our, our dull student has anything to say. We got spark on one. You guys aren't even looking. You're not even looking, man. You're paying attention. I'm gonna swap plugs. So, the top one is the one that was not sparking. Let's go just see if it was a plug. I kind of doubt it. But. Hold that. <laughs> now, the bottom one's still sparking, and the top one is not. We are halfway there. I gotta go change the wood that it's sitting on because it's cracked and it's ready to drop the motor on the ground. Well, I figure we probably have a bad coil, but the more I look at it, the more I see that uh, we're gonna have some issues because the pull start is broke. That whole bottom end is just seized up and locked up and it's gonna need a bunch of pieces. I think we're to the point where I don't think it's cost effective to try to save this and have it come back to be a functioning engine, but I have not given up on trying to at least start it. See if we can get the top end just to run. You know, not worried about water feed, all that kind of stuff. But just for the tenacity of seeing if we can do it, let's keep moving forward. Looks like I had three bolts. It's probably for timing, I'm guessing. Let me 
Try pulling that center nut out and see what it takes. Think we need to take this off or no? Might as well, huh? It's got points. Good, maybe one set of points fires one side, one fires the other. If that's the case, you can get spark back on both of them. That is a good thing. I'm gonna try to get us a puller that will take this and pop it off without destroying it. Yeah, a little lube for the center. Well, that kind of rides. might put an impact on it give it a shock you know you get that little hammer hit yep Let's try giving it a whack with a hammer first sometimes it'll go Not that it's really gonna help. Let's go shoot a little bit of lube down there where it's caught on it. It's a tapered fit. It's, it's gonna pop off. It's not like it's rusted on. Impact gun. Let's give her a couple of rats. Let's see what we'll do. <coughs> ah, you went the wrong way. <laughs> Rookie. Two sets of points. I like that. Let's see what they look like. Clean them up, see if we can get spark on both of them. This one looks a little suspect. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's got stuff caked across the front of it. It's black, too, across the face of it. Should take a peek at the other one. I don't know if you guys can see or not. That one's pretty clean. We'll run, uh, we'll run a file across each one of these. And we'll pop the flywheel back on, give her a quick spin, and see if it comes back. Be nice if that was it, huh? Let's see if we can all fit in here together. It's just some great clean. Oil is your enemy on points. Draw probably help us a little bit better. Good possibility when those coils are bad too. Let's go do that. I'm gonna do the other one too. I cleaned them both. I want to get this thing a, a little bit of an air bath. I threw the plugs back in it, but it is really... It's 
So what these are, two separate coils. And then on the flywheel, it's got magnets, well, magnet right here. And as that magnet passes that coil, it generates electricity. And then the points open, close, and then allow that electricity to come out as a high voltage and make a zap across the plug. That's the short version of it. So hopefully, if we put that back on there, I spun the motor, the, the cam is on the inside for the point gap. Both points are opening and closing. Whether they're making a signal going across is still up for debate. Where's the key? The key is that way. So I'm gonna go suck that back down, probably put the pull start back on it. And we'll give her a couple of tugs, see if those two plugs go sparky sparky. What do you see we try to give this thing a fighting chance too, huh? I even took that broken one off, gotta put it back on. All right, what do you think? I'm gonna give it a 60% success rate. A little more than half. Uh-oh, you got them both. <laughs> you know what's next, don't you? A little two-stroke gas for you, and a little two-stroke gas for you. Shall we? This has a choke, let's make sure it's open. Uh, choke is open, throttle is who we sit on. Throttle's over here on the handlebar. That's fast, that's start. Actually, I don't know where it is because the lever is broken. That's off. We'll give it half throttle. And let's go give it, I'm gonna give it a little bit of juice down the carb. Hard to get in there. Let's see if I can work my way all the way. There we go. <laughs> go for broke on that one. Not my wrist, hopefully. Chances are, I have the firing order backwards. Let's see how they want to lay. No. Let's try it. I think it's firing at a wrong, wrong time. I ain't liking that at all. It's a gym. 
gonna go try squirting some more. Man, they're pretty foul. You know what it is too? It's all that oil I shot in there. I'm gonna go clean them up, defoul them, and we'll try the, the mix match of uh, which one gets which. <laughs> How much crap is in them? Clean them out. I was kind of going by the way the, wire, the way the plug wire was just laying. And I would say that was top. Boom. 50 50 shot, right? get stuff that has logic start on it. Big swap them around. <laughs> you see the fire? Hopefully you did. All right. Let's give her one more. So let's dump some fuel down the intake. Is that gives you some fuel for the bottom end. That is the oil. <laughs> you don't want that one. Okay. Run, baby. Alright, I'm gonna put the fuel bottle right in the carb and see if we can give it like a little squirt and keep it running. Let's see how that works for us. A little something to keep it to fire it. Yeah, she's a little smoky. <laughs> well, guys, I think I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I may make a follow-up video on it or not. It just needs so much as far as bits and pieces. I may have some stuff at home. i got a couple of outboards that are there, but I think they are on the smaller size. I think they're like, uh, like I want to say like a 6 and a 10 maybe. 
I don't think I have any twin cylinders, but I'll look. But it will run. Uh, you know, the carb still needs to be gone through, all that kind of stuff. We'll see. We'll see what kind of happens in the future. I make no promises. Again, it just needs a, it needs a ton. That bottom end is just crispy. I'm sure we can kind of clean it up and free it up, but uh, it's going to need a bunch of parts. It's going to need the pump. Make sure all that's nice and toasty, too. But for now, <laughs> at least we got to the goal of uh, seeing if it will run, and it will run. Nice. It's like, I always, I always get a kick out of that every time it happens. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off for now. Until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye.